And so I would like to welcome Miss Jamila Manyanja, a Schools 2030 educator from Uganda, to kick off the second portion of the program. All esteemed guests, good afternoon. On behalf of all the teachers and educators from all over the globe and within the room, I would like to take this opportunity to welcome you to the Schools 2030 Global Forum. Um, my name is Jamila Manyanja. I'm the founder and team leader at Smart Girls Uganda. It's a social enterprise I started to empower girls and women to live a healthy and sustainable lifestyle. We work with young girls in um, all over Uganda, both in the urban and the rural areas. So we started well, our innovation we call the Girls with Tools, and it's a program we started to skill young vulnerable young women who are out of school in male-dominated STEM skill sets. What we've done is that we take on girls who have absolutely no education background and also who have a little bit of education background. Remember, these are the girls we actually get from very vulnerable situations. So sometimes even just getting to us is very difficult. So them getting into this field, they do not have enough money to buy the tools to practice. So using HCD um, solutions and digging deeper, we also innovated what we call our tools library. So this is a library, thank you Schools 2030 um, in Uganda, who helped us equip and also buy tools um, for the girls to come and borrow, the alumni. So they come and borrow the tools two to three days, they need to actually do that job. I was introduced to human-centered design in 2015, but going deeper, but fully being deeper was with um, Schools 2030, um, where we, we follow a particular process and really go out and assess a particular problem. Um, I'm with very intention with my team to go and find out how we can actually help, what, to empathize with the young people. So we placed ourselves in their shoes and we kept on trying to find out what we can, how we can help them, how may we absolutely solve the issue in giving them sustainable lifestyles. So we discovered for the girls who are already now studying, we, we have both boarding and day, and some of the day scholars come from quite remote areas, and some of them do not have the money to actually come to our skilling center. Our solution, the class on wheels. This is a solution we came up literally recently using human-centered design to take the class to the girls like Ruth within their communities, but also to show off some of our girls who have graduated to the community to appreciate that these jobs are also possible for girls. I have a dream of not only empowering young girls in Uganda, but all over Africa. I feel it's possible. I have a dream of creating a vocational university. I would love Aga Khan Foundation to spread my voice and the voice of my girls to show the general world to understand if a youth has dropped out of school, that's not the end of them. We have the power in our own means to change their narrative, to change their story. And that is giving them the skills to sustain themselves. Aga Khan Foundation can help tell my voice as it has done already, but to even tell it even wider to attract more partners that can walk this journey with me to get as many young girls and many young youth that are out of school to show to them that it's possible for you dropping out of school is not the end. You are worth much more. Never give up. Just let the process lead you. <laughs>